Hey Gemini, what's up gang? I hope everybody is well. So let's go ahead and get into some general messages for you. If that's something that interests you, please stick around. Gemini, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Jessica. Please take a look at my description box because that's going to have all the information that you would need to know. And yes, this is a Gemini channel. However, if you vibe your tribe, so go ahead and make yourself comfortable. Okay. Gemini, if you're returning, welcome back. I hope that you're well. Hope you're taking care of yourself. I do hope that you're doing what's best for you. Thank you for all the love, all the support. Gemini, thank you so much for all the good vibes. It really does mean the world, okay? All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into this. Um, the cards obviously want to speak. So we have the turtle energy, and instantly I got like a destined journey or another leg of your journey. Like you are, you are about to step into a a new energy, a new experience, and this is something that was always meant to happen. That's backed up actually with this haystack energy. Karma, you will reap what you have sown, okay? Uh, for some of you, you have some very positive karma that's been coming, that's coming your way. And we have the fox energy. Fox energy has been showing up. Some of you guys might have foxes around your property, or maybe you own a pet fox, or maybe you run a sanctuary with foxes, or something like that, okay? That could definitely be for somebody. Okay, let's see guys. So we have the crown that came out. It says chosen one, selected for greatness, divine being, honor and respect will come to you. Okay, Gemini. Uh, arrow, moving beyond limitations, erasing doubts, co-creating with spirit. It says you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. I'm getting big fire sign energy off of that too. Sagittarius, okay. Again, I feel like you're going to be moving beyond some kind of limitation that you've set for yourself. Like spirit does not see a limit for you. I feel like you're chosen for something. You have been selected for some kind of opportunity here, Gemini, or you're very much respected in a lot of areas of your life. So there is something about your path where it's like your steps are ordered by the divine. We have wind chimes. It says releasing the grip on results, signs, Carving out time to recharge, meditation, peace, and harmony. So there could be some anxiousness about the movement forward. Maybe you're waiting for some kind of news or clarity to come in, Gemini. I feel like Spirit wants you to release the need for expectations or release the need to get results or have a desired outcome. There really is this energy of flowing or surrendering to the situation because you are being carried in the direction that you're meant to go, okay? And then we have the fox, and it says... Um, Planning ahead for rainy days, working the system, a scam artist, shrewdness, resourcefulness, especially in business. You know what I'm actually getting with this scam artist energy in this fox? I'm kind of getting like you get something, you get a deal on something, or you get away with something. It doesn't feel nefarious though, like it doesn't feel negative, you know? It's, it's almost like, you know getting a two for one when you weren't supposed to or getting some kind of deal or, you know, it's almost like you go through the drive through and they give you your bag of food. You open it up. And you're like, whoa, this isn't my bag of food, you know, and they're like, oh, well, we can't take it back now. So just keep it. And then they give you your food, too. It's something like that. Some of you guys, there could be some kind of deal coming in or something where you catch a break here with this Fox energy. Some of you guys could be staying up day and night, right? Working on something. I'm getting that energy so strongly, Gemini. You can have like red eyes or dry eyes right now. You could be reading a lot, studying, staring at a computer screen or a tablet screen or something. Some of you guys have been typing, um, writing something out, or you will be. Some of you, if you've been having any kind of writer's block or artist block, like that is going to lift, okay? There was something where you needed to meditate. You needed to be... Um, in your own energy for a second. Some of you could have just came out the shell, right? Because I get this energy with the turtle of like, you know, when it's in the shell, it's not able to make any physical progress, but it could definitely be making some kind of mental, spiritual, emotional progress within itself. Because when the turtle's in the shell, it's giving me that hermit energy, you know, and that is where you're connecting with spirit, you're connecting with yourself. Um, and gaining some kind of inner wisdom here, inner clarity. And then when the turtle pops out of its shell, it's ready to start moving again. So I do feel like something like that has happened where there could have been some kind of stagnancy. There could have been a pause for the cause, okay? And it was so you could get on the same page with yourself or receive some kind of message because we do have signs coming through. And some of you guys are getting a lot of signs. 
Yeah, Gemini, I'm getting the energy of somebody could cut you a break on something. Like, because they are selecting you. Somebody wants to cut you a break or somebody wants to go into business with you or do you a favor or something, Gemini. I'm getting that so strongly and I feel like it's because of who you are, what you represent. You know? I'm getting this energy of like some of you might feel like you're never offered a helping hand, but then you are going to be offered one when you really need it. There's something about that, okay? Whatever you've been stressing about, Gemini, if you've been waiting for something, some kind of answers, a verdict, results, um, a test results, right? Results in regards to maybe a job opportunity, a background check, an application to something, okay? When you get approved for something or something like that, I feel like there's going to be this energy of as soon as you release your grip on it, that's when it comes in, like right then and there. That's for some of you. I am getting an energy of if you have to travel, if you have to move, if there's any kind of energy of you relocating or um, making a big life change, Gemini, you have been planning ahead for this. You know, you've been saving your money. You've been getting everything in order. So that way, like every box is like, you know, checked is the energy I'm getting. So that way, when it is time to finally make this move or take this big step, you're going to be ready. I feel like it's going to be peaceful. I feel like everything's going to go very smoothly because you've already been planning ahead. You've been listening to the energy that you've been getting. If the spirit's been giving you messages or... Um, if you just have this inner knowing here, or maybe you've been picking up on things in divination, or maybe you just, you knew, like, you know, like, let's just say in July, you're changing jobs and you're going to be relocating. Like you've had time to plan and you've been making good use of that time is the energy I'm getting. Like you haven't been procrastinating. And if you have, I feel like it was during times where you needed to, it wasn't, I wouldn't necessarily call it procrastinating as like just taking a break or just chillaxing for a second before you get back to work. So time management is key here, Gemini, and I feel like you are managing your time very well, as well as your finances. I feel like you're, you are managing finances very well, but I do feel like you are going into an energy where there's going to be growth here. Some of you could feel tapped out on something, like on energy, on time, on maybe finances. Even if you have been doing very well with them, it's just like, you know, they only go so far, they only stretch so far. And as resourceful as you can be, you know, life is still expensive. Like, you know, it don't matter how resourceful you are. If you got two fifty and bread's three dollars, then you know, so it's something like that. So there's this energy here of like, you know, you're trying to work the system here or get things. I don't know, I'm not saying you're trying to get things for free, but yeah, you are trying to get a bargain, Gemini, for some of y'all. And I feel like you're having luck with that. So if you're like going to buy a car or something and you don't you think the price is too high you want to talk them down Gemini I just feel like you're in your energy right now you're able to kind of smooth talk people or you're able to you know plead your case or get people to be on your team or on your side or see where you're coming from like you could sell yourself right now or you could sell a product right now if you have a business where you do sell products Gemini I feel like you're doing really well I feel like there's about to be an influx in clientele. There could even be a really like high priority client that comes in that places like a huge order or they want something custom and they're willing to pay double, triple, quadruple, right? So it's like on the double, okay, right now I need it done. There could be something like that that happens. But I feel like this brings, even though it does bring a lot of action suddenly into your life, it ultimately brings you a lot of peace because maybe you're able to put some money into savings here. Let's get some tarot out and see what we got going on. You know, I'm getting a lot of sun energy too, like sun-dried tomatoes, making sun tea, um, drying stuff in the sun, drying herbs, drying meats. I'm even getting a fruit paste. I have no idea about making this like fruit roll-up, fruit, fruit leather, whatever that stuff is. But what they're giving me is somebody pureeing some fruits. I guess maybe there's some sugar in there. Um putting it on like wax paper or parchment paper, like smearing on there and then putting it out in the sun and letting it dry and then like peeling it off, rolling it up, cutting it or something like that. 
Or I guess you'd cut it with the wax paper on because then you could just peel it off. I don't know, guys. I don't know why they're showing me a whole damn recipe for this in my head, but they are. Like, y'all trying to get me to make this or something? I feel like there's something like that. You guys are doing something and drying something out in the sun. Some of you guys could be creating maybe your own dyes out of fruits and vegetables to dye fabrics or like socks or to create pillows maybe or I don't know, clothes, like food-based, like tie-dye clothes or something. I don't know why I'm getting that energy, but I am. Like doing something out in the sun and it's connected to food. I don't know. Some of you guys could be going out having a picnic or something. I am getting that energy of like spending a lot of time outside though or spending time in the sun. Maybe in your garden or, you know, around your house, Gemini. Like I feel like you feel very connected to the sun right now for whatever reason. All right, let's see this, this crown energy. Honor and respect is going to come to you, Gemini, okay? And I feel like whether people like it or not, for some reason I get this energy of people who maybe were trying to um, like talk down on your name or talk down on your accomplishments, your growth. It's like pretty soon they're not going to even need to say anything. Like your growth is going to speak for itself. The results are going to speak for themselves. I don't know. There's something that you're going to do that the results, the growth, the outcome, it's going to speak for itself and you're not going to need to say anything. But at the same time, whoever this was or whoever they were that were running their mouth so much, they're going to stop too. So somebody is going to have no choice but to honor you, respect you. And keep in mind, guys, you don't have to like somebody to respect them or to show them respect, okay? There could be something about like a, a coworker or something or a family member. I don't know why, why I'm getting this, but I'm getting like a coworker or a family member or somebody who they do not want to respect you. And people have been like, no, you need to be nice to Gemini. You need to do, do, do. I don't know. I feel like they're going to have to. Yeah, this could be something on the job and you've been trying to stay strong in regards to some kind of, you know, office drama or some shit like that. What is this honor and respect that's coming to Gemini? What is this talking about for Gemini? This honor and respect that's coming to Gemini. We have the two of pentacles. You know, Gemini, for some reason, I feel like this is a crown, but it almost looks like it could have been a jester hat. <laughs> like, I don't know why I feel this way, but I feel like people might have really thought that you were a clown or that you weren't serious about something. I don't think it's that you were a clown. I think it's that people thought that you weren't serious about something. I feel like people have been watching you almost like, is Gemini going to be serious? Is Gemini going to make a choice this time? Is Gemini going to invest? Are they really going to do this? There could be that. We taught, we actually picked up on that a couple readings ago with that crying wolf energy. So there could have been something where like you came towards it and then you backed away. You came towards it and then you backed away. So you've done this little dance several times. And so maybe people have been like, well, I don't know. This could be in regards to anything, guys. So you got to take it as it resonates. Whatever it is that you've been kind of, you know, going towards and then backing off. This could be a person, a place, a thing. But I do feel like you are going to be investing in something. I also feel like somebody is going to want to or in, invest in you. And this could be in a connection, but it, it more feels like something in regards to finances or some sense of stability. Like somebody wants to invest in you. Gemini, if you have more than one job, you are killing it at several jobs right now. How do you do it, right? It's like you have infinite energy or something or infinite power to manifest or to just be brilliant because there's some kind of energy here where it's like you have this job and then you have that job and you excel at both, okay? <laughs> I don't know. That's the energy I'm getting. I do feel like there's energy of somebody maybe in the past has questioned your authority. We were picking up on that. There could have been like verbal, you know, communication you know between you guys where they expressed that they didn't like how you were doing something Gemini I feel like justice is being called in this situation yeah I feel like somebody's gonna have to admit that you're the man slash woman when it comes to something I don't know why but I feel like somebody's gonna have to admit that you're the expert or you knew what you were talking about or you were right or that we need to do it your way or that you're following some kind of procedure you're following the policy you're following the protocol Gemini I don't know why I'm getting somebody checking in your background or, or maybe there was an application for something. Somebody was checking in your background, but it's like, yeah. 
somebody's going to see that you're the best candidate or you are what you said you were. Maybe they weren't sure. Maybe they're like, mm, I don't know, Gemini might be. Again, I feel like somebody wasn't sure if you were serious about something, but they're going to see that you are serious about it. And in fact, um, you are you kind of are able to master something or make something your own. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm talking about right now, guys. I hope this is making sense to you. So if there's been any kind of contracts or a company that's wanting you to work or maybe a collab, maybe a... Um, somebody's you know approached you recently and you had to decide do I want to invest in this this could be a house this could be a move this could be a connection for some of you guys some of you have been trying to decide do I stay or do I go yeah do I stay or do I go now if I stay it could be trouble if I go it could be double okay I don't know some of you are trying to decide though and maybe people Okay, <laughs> this is not for everybody, but for some of you guys, you could be in a connection, a marriage. We have Libra, Taurus energy out here. Also Sagittarius, take it as it resonates. For some reason, I'm getting earth energy with this turtle too. Um, you could be trying to decide if you want to stay or leave this connection, this job, this place. Maybe you're worried that if you leave something, like people are going to think badly about you, look down on you, you're going to miss out on opportunity or something like that. So you've really been contemplating this. I feel like if you follow your heart, Gemini, you might find out with this honor and respect that more people are going to be understanding than you think. Especially if you're honest about why you're leaving something. You might feel like it's not anybody's business, Gemini, but damn, if you're worried about how other people feel, right? Because if it ain't anybody's business, then why give a shit about how somebody feels about it then? Shit, who gives a fuck, right? It ain't their business. But if you do care low-key how other people feel, and it's okay to, I, you know, some people have like personas or public images that they have to keep up for their job, their lifestyle, whatever. That's just, that's the role that we all play while we're here. Some play a bigger role than others, right? <laughs> so there could be something where, yeah, you are a little, um, you know, I wouldn't say worried, but maybe apprehensive about how something will come off or how something will appear. I feel like people are going to, just want you to be happy, <laughs> especially your family and friends. Like, I feel like at the end of the day, they're just going to want you to be happy, especially if this is talking about a marriage or a connection, because for some of you guys, maybe they're wanting you to stay because it is stable, it's secure, it's seemingly functioning, right? Even if it's a dysfunction. <laughs> but um, I feel like once you open up and you tell them about how you're feeling and about, you know, some of the things that maybe have gone down, some of the things you've kept silent about. Because I'm getting like this energy of like a silent warrior here, somebody who's just been continuing on, maybe going in your shell when needed, but then popping out and moving forward. But you know, like that's what I'm getting. So Gemini, feel free to make the choice that vibes with you because people are going to respect you. I feel like regardless, you know, there could just be respect for how you handle a certain situation. Yeah. Six of Wands, you're going to be successful when it comes to something. Some of you guys are overcoming some type of fear or letting go of something that might have a really strong hold on you. You know, it's a temptation to stay in this toxic energy because this benefits you somehow, right? You're letting go of that. You're going to find success on the other end of that. Some of you, if you feel like you have some kind of public persona that you have to keep up, you know, um, and if you break from this at any point, it's like people are just going to run away. It's almost like, you know, reevaluating your priorities because this is an equal give and take kind of thing going on here. You should be able to come and show up in your authentic self. You know, your vibe is your tribe after all. So if you can't be your real self, if you can't do the things that truly make you happy, then are you really with your tribe? Like there's something about that. And again, this could talk about a connection, a work environment, a home situation, a community, a family, friendship. I just feel like you're trying to make a decision right now between what feels right and what appears to be right. That's for some of you. Either way, though, honor and respect is coming to you. You have some kind of large mission that you're meant to, to fulfill while you're here. I feel that very strongly. And I do feel like some positive karma is coming your way. You've learned something. You faced some kind of shadow. Like you did some kind of shadow work, Gemini. You, you overcame something. Let's see. Where's this arrow taken, Gemini? 
moving beyond some kind of limitation that you feel like you've been having, all right? But I do feel like spirit wants you to know that you are on the right path in regards to something in your life, okay? Sail away, really wanted to pop out, but it didn't. But you could be moving into smoother waters. You could be moving, look, big sail away. Okay, the big sail away, yes, the world. You could be moving into just a better situation, Gemini, period, where more luck, more opportunity finds you instead of just bullshit, okay? But some message could come in really quickly about an offer, and I feel like you're going to be asked to take it. You know, so you might have to make a decision really quickly coming up. Yeah, you could have quite a few uh, people reaching out to you, wanting you to decide something. Like when it rains, it pours, Gemini. Okay, so maybe you have been looking for work, okay? Or something like that. I'm getting like this energy of like looking for a job and suddenly several jobs come in at once. Maybe one is more formal than the other. One might pay a little bit more. Either way, I, I feel like a successful outcome or some kind of success, some kind of recognition, you know, on a very large platform. Um, this this card for sure is giving like the energy of a vacation or just surrendering to a situation, feeling like it's not really something you have to stress about anymore. It's definitely giving that energy of smoother waters or a peace of mind, which we see over here as well. So yeah, I feel like that's what you're being moved towards right now. So I feel like Spirit wants you to erase some kind of doubts that you might be having. Yeah, for some of you guys, this is talking about a house or a new company or a move to a new location, maybe moving out of your country, or maybe you are going on a vacation, you're traveling around. There could be a reunion, maybe a family reunion, Gemini. Didn't we just pick up on that in the most recent reading? I think we did. There's something about singing your praises too to spirit when something comes through like you're gonna stop and you're gonna feel really grateful gemini i feel like there's this energy here of like just stopping for a second to be like thank you spirit like thank you you know i needed this i need this movement i need this growth i needed this client i needed this uh house this car this job could be a relationship guys but i'm gonna be real with you this feels like something like I don't want to say like a really tangible, like a relationship's not tangible, but you know what I mean? Something financial, something in regards to your stability. Some of you guys could get some really good results on a test. Like, you know, some of you guys could get some really good results on a medical test too. I'm getting that too. Like something with the heart. Like maybe you're worried that you have a like a heart problem, Gemini. I feel like you're going to be able to just like relax be like whew, I'm good right there's something about that like being good Gemini you are good yeah so if you're being shot in a new direction it's because that's where you're supposed to be <laughs> I feel like something is divinely orchestrated here Gemini that's what I'm getting some of you guys can be moving into a really large house or you're gonna be visiting a really large house or maybe you're meant to have a really large house or something like that a lot of land there could be some stray cats or something i don't know guys there's stray cats everywhere for a show but there could be some stray cats or some stray animals or like wherever you're living or wherever you're moving yeah it's like animals following you look <laughs> i feel like you're attracting a lot of animals right now gemini or you're attracting a lot of positive energy I don't know why they're giving me like bubbles or something floating around you or floating around somebody or like feathers. I feel like they come out of nowhere. Like you're walking down the sidewalk and then all of a sudden bubbles are surrounding you. There could be like a kid that's a couple yards over playing with bubbles and I don't know, maybe you don't see them, but I'm getting that energy of like bubbles suddenly appearing. <laughs> I don't know guys, okay? <laughs> Sometimes they give me stuff and I'm just like, what are y'all even talking about? Um, I feel like I'm I'm seeing visions of what you guys see when that kind of stuff happens. The Fool, yeah, ships are coming in. You're going to be asked to take a leap of faith. Mm-hmm. And this could be some kind of journey that you're going to take. Or, again, it's something brand new that you're stepping into. It is definitely out of your comfort zone, whatever this is. This is not something that you've done before or this isn't somewhere that you've you've been, you've lived. This isn't something that you've worked in. These are uh, people that you haven't worked with, equipment 
something, a new program. Yeah, there's going to be fear that's going to be telling you that's going to be scary. It's going to be rough. All the things that could go wrong. There's going to be a big temptation to just like kind of seep down into some kind of um, lack mentality, or not lack mentality, fear mentality. It could be a lack mentality. Like maybe I'm not good enough for this. I'm not going to be able to handle it. It's all going to fall apart. But I'm getting this energy of like, well, there's a little bit of the carry syndrome. They're all going to laugh at you, right? There's that kind of energy here. But there's also like just being afraid of it because maybe it is scary. You know, jumping off a cliff is scary. Even if they're like, look, we've timed this perfectly. All you have to do is just take the leap, okay? The birds are scouting everything out. Like, you're good. Spirit's got your back. Your ancestors are there. They're, they're making the leap with you. And you just need to leap onto this ship, right? This, this ship of opportunity that's coming in. But, of course, it's scary. Some of you might feel like this is very risky or there's something very fragile about this with this volcano. Like, this ship could explode at any moment. Yeah. There's some unknown shit or maybe some of you guys are worried there's hidden variables that you're not aware of. Like, especially if this is a house, like, you know, it, it, Jesus, as somebody who has moved several times, I understand those feelings. Like, what if it has bugs? What if the neighbors are shitty? What if it's haunted, right? What if it's on a freaking like Native American burial ground or something? And like, you know, I'm getting haunted by the seven tribes or something like that. Like, I don't need that. There's something about that. Where you're worried but I actually feel like this is going to be a very positive situation I feel like you're being like led literally towards whatever this is so if this is work you could be like oh my gosh am I gonna like my boss what if I don't learn fast enough what if I I don't like it and then I left my old job for this you know I don't know like all the doubts are coming in Gemini that would keep you trapped keep you stuck right but I feel like Spirit's imploring you to listen to this little bluebird of hope here. Some of you guys' bluebirds can be significant. Yeah, I feel like your ancestors are trying to get you to push down these walls, these mental walls, these negative thoughts, the fears. Like, you're going to be successful in something, Gemini. Something is going to be very successful for you, okay? Let's go ahead and see what this wind chimes is about peace and harmony coming in and a situation that's working okay yeah there's definitely going to be some kind of financial results in regards to something some of you guys could be getting a lot of recognition or your name your product your business it's going to be like it's getting carried on the wind like people other places are going to hear about this so there could be some kind of advertisement that's going to come through or word of mouth for some of y'all I also feel like if you're moving jobs relationship right moving like a living environment something like that you are going to feel like able to create better or able to work better or you're going to feel more productive you're going to feel healthier there's something about that like you're going to suddenly feel like you don't have to travel around looking for a space to feel comfortable in like you're there some of you might set up shop somewhere and this shop might have really good vibes this could be opening up a storefront or something. I feel like you're going to have wind chimes or something on the door. I don't know. I'm getting that energy. I'm also getting like a mentor energy. Some of you could meet a mentor, male or female. Somebody that's going to kind of show you the ropes, teach you some things. Show you their ways. Some of you, maybe you're learning recipes from somebody in your family right now. They're teaching you the recipes teaching you how to make something in particular I don't know why I'm getting the energy of like a mother or a grandmother or a grandfather father whoever does the holidays because I know it's it, it's let's just be honest it is 99% of the females that you know do carry the holidays when it comes to the cooking traditionally but that's not always the case in some families the masculines do the cooking you know but um I feel like whoever is doing the cooking it's almost like whoever does the the family tradition like let's say the grandmother she always does thanksgiving every single year or an equivalent for your country of a holiday okay um they always do the meal it's like they're not gonna be able to do it this year they're tired they're old there's something about her that looks like washed out like sick just getting older she's got gray hair you know she's older she's not like what she used to be it's like somebody's teaching somebody the ropes or somebody's going to learn how to make the recipes, cook everything, prepare everything. She's going to be like overseeing, basically.
I'm like, yep, yeah, mm, that's right. That's the right amount of pepper. There's something about that. Like you're a really good student or you learn fast or you will learn fast, or this person's gonna be really happy to work with you, partner up with you, teach you something. I don't know if you're working with somebody else, Gemini, cause I'm getting that energy. Or if somebody else is involved in something somehow, they have a lot of faith in you. Golly, damn. Okay, yeah, this is a very successful business, a very successful life, living arrangement, connection. Like something is going well, Gemini, okay? I don't know, you're gonna have to take it as it resonates. Shit. <laughs> this Ace of Pentacles, it's like you're discovering the answers to something that's bringing in the stability or bringing in this happiness. Or again, this is a big move, a big change that happens and it's like it uh, suddenly things are good if you change businesses i'm telling you right now if you change businesses you leave a connection you enter a connection i'm not saying you leave then you enter i'm just saying whatever happens if that because i don't really feel like this has anything to do with love at all but for some of you it could so i don't want to take that away if you're changing your living arrangements um a group that you hang out with a certain location for something you are going to feel really good this is going to go really well for you and for sure, something with your finances, your work, you're going to get a lot of recognition. If you're like creating something, writing a book, creating some kind of art, a portfolio is what I'm getting to, or you make products again, these are going to be selling or something's going to go very well. Like it's going to gain a lot of recognition. You're going to be able to live really well off of something that you do. Like you could create your own flower arrangements or you do something custom, Gemini. Yeah, this is like peacock energy here. I haven't really ever noticed that before, but I'm kind of getting this energy of that, like a grand reveal or a bright idea that leads to a lot of uh, abundance or finances, Gemini. Like you can have a really good idea. You can work really hard on that and then boom, that shit blows up, boy. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, guys. You're going to have to take it as it resonates. Let's get into this fox energy. This is a hell of... Such a positive reading, which is such a breath of fresh air con considering like the readings have been kind of negative and not in like the aspect of, you know, like fear mongering, but just a hater has been on somebody's ass, but I guess they got the memo for sure. That Fox, that sneaky seven of swords energy, somebody who's trying to scam you, manipulate you. Yeah, they saw the truth. They're not going to be able to do that. It's like this fox trying to crunch down on this turtle's shell. I don't think a fox can crunch down on a, a I mean, maybe a smaller turtle. I don't know, guys. Yeah, some of you guys are just getting really mentally focused on something. You are planning ahead, okay? Planning a journey out, maybe putting in coordinate, uh, coordinates or something. If you're doing like a GPS or something like that, I'm getting that as well. You don't want anything to be like left up for guessing or like, oh shit, we should have thought about that. We didn't think about this. You want everything to be thought of. You wanna make sure everything is in order. There's something about that. So I feel like you're taking a leading role in something and you're being really hands-on, Gemini. Some of you, if you're moving, cause we do have that energy. If you're moving house or something or moving businesses, like moving from one storefront to another storefront or moving locations or opening up a location and stocking another location. I don't know, something like that, okay? If you're doing something like that, I feel like you're gonna be watching the movers for some reason, like, you know, like watching how they're carrying stuff, watching where they're putting things, making sure that you have a special, like, you know, these are special boxes and I'm gonna keep my eye on these ones. I don't know, something about that. Like you're trying not to get screwed, that's for sure, yeah. You're trying not to be taken advantage of for sure. But this two swords, that's that indecision. You don't want to have indecision. You want everything to be clear. So I feel like you're digging into all the details. You're looking over everything. You're thinking of every single angle of something before you feel comfortable. The Aquarius energy. Whew. Let's get something else for this. It's a lot of air energy for your resourcefulness. I, I, you know? Yeah, the emperor. 
you just have like a lot of responsibilities, a lot of obligations, or this is going to be a big undertaking, whatever this is. So if this is a move or a transition from one company to the next, or you're opening up a storefront somewhere, like maybe you're going from selling online to selling in an actual storefront or something if you have you know something like that gemini it's like it's a big transition whatever this is it's like you're taking responsibility for something so you want to be very clear and and you're you're calling people out too that's the thing like you're not mincing words here you know you know what your truth is you're very divinely protected as well it's like you're in full clarity. So if anybody tries to come to you with some kind of bullshit, like you're calling it on them instantly. You're not accepting it. I feel like this is leading you towards wish fulfillment or this is helping you develop some kind of wish fulfillment. Yeah, I feel like you you have absolute, absolutely no problem with walking away from anybody, cutting somebody off, saying goodbye, rejecting the offer, right? Um, you know... You just don't have a problem with it because you know your worth, Gemini. Yeah, you know your worth. Some of you could be letting go of an earth sign to get with the uh, earth of, Jesus, if I can speak. Some of you guys could be letting go of an earth sign to be getting with a fire sign, an Aries or an air sign. Okay. That's just for somebody. That's not for everybody. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say, anything else? I do feel like you are trying to find ways to make more money, save money. If you're doing some kind of big move or you're investing a lot in a business right now or in a project, a collaboration or project or something. I think I said that. If you're doing something like that, I feel like you are trying to find ways to save money. Cut corners where you can, but in a healthy way, you know? This isn't like... Y'all, like the renter special, as they would say. So if you have white walls and you need to patch up like a little nail hole, you could go get caulk from the store, right? Or you could go and get toothpaste and put it in there, right? That's the rental special. That's like cutting a corner. But I feel like for me, that's cutting a corner in a nasty way. Like you don't need to do all that. You know, caulking is not that expensive. So there's something about that, you know? like wanting to cut corners or wanting to save money on a project or wanting to be resourceful, but still wanting it to look nice, still wanting it to look really luxurious or really professional, you know, like quality still, even though you are trying to kind of save on something. Yeah. So some of you guys could be doing a lot of shopping off of maybe discount sites or looking for bargains, looking for deals, clearance sales. Um, they're giving me like Timu or Sheen or whatever, or Shin, however you say that. So you can create like a luxurious lifestyle on a budget. That is for somebody. That's what you're trying to do. Yeah, there's this big fear energy. Capricorn, Virgo energy doesn't have to be, but it's like, I feel like you're you're isolating yourself for that. I feel like you have a choice here because this is my spirit card and this is obviously a card for the darkness. So it's like, you can choose what you listen to here. You know? Some of you guys are going to choose to go the less beaten path, you know? For sure. All right, let's get some additional messages slash advice here. What cards do I want to do for that? Okay, hold on. I know what card I want to use. Ugh. Okay. It's the Apothecary cards. Additional messages slash advice for Gemini. We have service coming out. Card number 14. My May Gemini's for sure. And then we have get out of your head, talking about that energy of being apprehensive, you know, kind of keeping yourself contained in spaces that you don't need to because you're afraid of moving forward. You're afraid of stepping out of your comfort zone. Small steps, big accomplishments, more turtle energy here, Gemini. I feel like you're coming out of your shell, okay? Yeah, I feel like you're gaining some kind of confidence to see beyond the past in a situation. So card number 37, 73, 8, 24, 42, 2332 Anything else? And then we have magnetism through gratitude coming out, Gemini. So staying grateful 
for all the things that spirit hasn't given to you yet, but the things that you know are on the way, that's going to help them be attracted to you even quicker, okay? Don't be afraid to take small steps because actually you're taking big leaps. You might feel like you're taking small steps, but you're taking big leaps towards your future. Have confidence, get out of your head. Don't be afraid to, you know, provide your service to the world, whatever that is, your talent, your skill, okay? Don't be afraid to be of service to others when it's, you know, when it's needed, don't be afraid to see beyond your past, too. There's something big about that. Yes, thank you, Spirit. Facing your fear. That's the key to whatever this is. To completing some kind of journey or getting to where you need to go, Gemini. It's like facing your fear. That is the key here, okay? Claim your power. Uh-oh, okay, big cat energy coming through. Heavy Leo energy. Tigers could be significant for somebody. A prayer is about to be answered, Gemini, because why? You are the motherfucking master man of... Why? Because you are the motherfucking master manifester. Okay. Okay, guys, that has been your reading. I do hope it helps. I hope it resonates. I hope it does something. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.